Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more topic in our computer organization that is register. What is meant by registers and what are the different types of registers? So first of all, the register is a small amount of memory which is used to store the data, right? So it is also some sort of memory, right? So, it's a small amount of memory to store data and see, so whatever the instructions or programs which are being executed by the user, so those programs will be executed by the processor itself. Only the processor will execute the instructions or the programs. Right. So the processor here means the CPU. Right. So these registers will be used by the CPU during the processing of instructions. So these registers will be used by the CPU or a processor during execution of program or instruction any kind of program or instruction, right? So, uh, these registers will be used by the processor, okay? They will reside in the processor itself. And that's why these registers are also known as processor registers. So, these registers are also known as, known as processor registers because these registers will be used by the processor only, right? Now, the question is, what type of data can be stored in the registers? What can be stored in these registers? So, what can be stored in these registers? So, the first one, as usual, if you are using any memory, so we can store the data in the memory, right? So, in order to retrieve the data, so we need to get the address. So, the register stores a data and so one advantage of this uh, computer is a storing of data, right? So, why we are storing the data? So, whenever it is required, we can get the data back and we can process it and again we can store it in another memory location. So, in order to retrieve the data which is available in the memory, so we require some address. So without the address, we can't get the data. So the memory will be having a lot of memory locations and each memory location will be identified with the help of address. So these registers are also used to store the address of a data. Address. And also the instruction, whatever the instructions we are going to execute. So those instructions can also be stored in these registers but these registers are small amount of memory so in terms of bits the size of registers will be in terms of bits only right now we'll see different types of registers that can be used so there will be a lot of registers but so we'll see a commonly used registers right so the first one The first one, input register, input register, so which is having the size of uh, 8 bits, only 8 bits, right, and the name itself indicates any program, if you consider any program or any instruction, so some sort of uh, data should be given by the user, right, so those inputs will be stored in this input register while doing the processing okay so it holds the user input that, that means the input which is given by the user itself right and the next one obviously it will be the output so we know that a computer will read the input the, the user will give the input to the cpu the processor the, uh, the processor will 
take the input and it will process the uh, instruction and it will produce the output. So, whatever the output produced by the processor will be stored in the output register. Output register. So, the name itself indicates. So, here is this size is also again 8 bits and uh, it holds the output produced by the processor. The output which is produced by the processor. And the next one is an address register. So, just now we have seen the register can also store the address. So, the size of this one is 12 bits and it holds address of memory location. Address of any memory location. So, the memory locations will be having a lot of addresses. So, in order to retrieve the data, so such type of addresses can be stored in this address register. Next one is a program counter program counter so the size of this one is also again 12 bits and it holds address of next instruction which is to be executed See, if one program is being executed by the CPU, so we say that a program means a set of instructions. So there will be multiple instructions. So the processor will execute every instruction at a time, right? One instruction, one by one, the instructions will be being executed. So if one instruction is being executed by the processor, the program counter holds the address of the next instructions which is being get executed. So which has to be get executed that address of that instruction will be uh, stored in this particular program counter. The size of this one is a 12 bits and the next one data register. So this is the size of this data register is 16 bits and it holds the data of a memory location. So obviously the data will be in memory location and in order to read the data from the memory location we will use this data register. Actually here we call it as an operands, the data of an operand. So operand. So there will be different terms operand, opcode. So this operand means similarly it is a variable in our programming languages which holds the data and opcode means the operator operator which is being used in our programming language the same thing we call it as an opcode right operator in programming language we call it as an opcode so data register holds the data of a memory location that means the data of an operand so whatever the data available in this operand that can that can be stored in this data register which is of size 16 bits and then Accumulator. So, accumulator is again the size is a 16 bits and this is a general purpose register. So, which can, which can be used for any purpose, right? General purpose register. So, which can be used for any kind of uh, instructions, right? So, any kind of data, any kind uh, for anything we can use this accumulator, right? The next one is a temporary. temporary register and this is the size of this one is also a 16 bits and it holds a temporary data temporary data so that means if one instruction is being executed so during that execution so some sort of uh, outputs can be uh, stored in the registers right so like uh, intermediate results so in between the input and output there will be a lot of uh, operations will be done and there will be different uh, outputs will be uh, will be generated so all those intermediate outputs okay intermediate results in between the input and output will be stored in this temporary register so name itself indicates 
so it holds the temporary data it holds the temporary data and the next one instruction register and this is also the name itself indicates so the size is a uh, 16 bits and the name itself indicates it holds the instructions instructions read from the memory read from the memory okay whatever the instructions we are reading from the memory that instructions can be directly uh, stored in this instruction register right so these are all the commonly used registers by the processor so all these are called as a processor registers we can also call them as a processor registers so input output address program counter data register accumulator temporary register and instruction register so finally so once again i'm repeating the register means a small amount of memory which can be used to store the data okay and this will be used by the cpu itself right so for quick access or quick uh, storage the cpu will use these these registers so the size of these registers will be in terms of bits only right you can observe 8 bits 12 bits and 16 bits so these are all, all the common registers used by the cpu there will be a lot of registers right so hope you understood this one and uh, right uh, let's stop here if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much